Hello there. This is November the 29th, 2022, and I have a question from Rockwall, Texas. Uh, this question is about climate change. What is your take on climate change? All right. Well, the easy, uh, the easy answer for this is to just say that for the most part, the whole topic of climate change is probably closer to a religion than it is to a science. All right. That's the way that I personally see it. Uh, I have looked into it well enough to take a position for myself. You know, as I have looked into the topic, I have found enough evidence to be able to say that uh, for the most part, for the most part, um, the, the idea of climate change has to do with, uh, with a religion more than science. It, it's just all about belief. It's all about faith. Uh, there's no scientific anything that would uh, suggest that, the, that there is some kind of uh, dramatic threat to climate change, uh, dramatic threat in the sense that the people in this world and what we are doing on this planet is some kind of major threat to, uh, to the climate. All right. Now, I understand that there, that there, there has been an enormous amount of money spent of to to employ people uh, to give people uh, the the time to do work to go around and preach this climate change uh, belief system uh, it's 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 my opinion that the reason why it is a topic is because there are people who get paid to promote it and of course there are a lot of people uh, who want to believe it you know for various reasons and, and what those reasons are, you really just have to ask them, why do you believe this? And it could be, it's possible that they might give you an honest answer or they may not even really know. You know, it may just be because uh, there are people who are important to them uh, who make decisions for their lives, who want them to believe this. And so they believe it in order to maintain peace and harmony in some sense. Or they want to believe it because they want to be against someone who doesn't. You know, they just want the conflict. They want the stimulation of being opposed to something, having something to protest about or having some kind of cause to believe in. Uh, they, uh, religion of, uh, is, of course, of no real value unless you can compare yourself with somebody else. And so they compare themselves with other people who don't believe that this is an issue or this is a topic, all right? Now, what needs to be done is there needs to be scientific evidence to show one view or another, because that's what this is. This is a scientific kind of topic, all right? And so it doesn't really matter what someone's opinion is when it comes to the truth. You know, what, what, is, what is true, what is real? When it comes to what is true or what is real, then we have to have ways of measuring the climate. All right. That's 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 what's necessary. But you'll find that the people who want to talk about this subject, they don't want measurements. They don't want science because for the most part, they're trying to uh, they're, they're trying to obtain something else. They have some other kind of objective in mind. All right. Now I went ahead and I pulled this out of out of my files. What I have here is I have a chart, okay? And I don't expect you to try to figure out what this chart is right here on the video. But I have this chart that I obtained from someone who I know and who I trust as, as someone who collects data, who collects information. And this is a chart that shows the global temperatures between 2500 BC and 2015 AD global temperatures all right around the world and you can see that there the, by looking at this picture that there are changes that have occurred over a period of time all right and that there's a cycle where sometimes it's really cold sometimes it's warm you know and and it just seems to happen over a set of intervals and there's a there's a pattern to this there's a cycle to this and this kind of data can be collected by examining history and seeing what people were trading, for example, for what agricultural products, what were they worth, how much was being produced, 
There are, uh, there are different ways to be able to identify these things based on what people could grow in what locations. You know, a lot of work went into the production of this data. And this data that I have here is just a general summary, just kind of a, a, a picture that shows the behavior uh, of global temperatures over a period of about 4,000 years, all right? Now, looking at data such as this, it appears that whatever the climate is doing, whatever is going on with the climate, has nothing to do with the behavior of people, all right? Because if you were to examine this chart over a 4,000 year period of time, and you were to examine what was the behavior of people, what was the population of people, what were they doing, what kind of pollution were they creating, then from what I can tell, it has absolutely nothing to do with human activity, all right? Now, I have not done um, a comprehensive study on this topic. I simply do not have the time. Uh, I have to make a living, you know. I mean, I have to do things. I can't, um, I can't pursue this, and I don't, I don't even... Um, I don't even want to consider the, 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 the idea of asking people to donate towards my time so that I can do a complete evaluation of the subject of climate change. Even if I did and I came up with a, with a really good report, I honestly don't think that it's going to make a difference when it comes to the decisions that are really being made in the world according to climate change because, again, I don't think those decisions are being made on the basis of truth, that the truth has no relevance to these people who believe that climate change is an issue that needs to be addressed, all right? That it has nothing to do with what is real. It has to do with other things, all right? Now, uh, what I would expect to find if I was to do a comprehensive study of this is that it really just has to do with the sun, Okay, that's what I would, I would expect to find. I've looked into this enough in order, to, in order to be convinced myself that this is the subject area that we should probably examine. But like I said, I've not examined it. But I would suspect that the behavior of the sun is what uh, determines climate here on this planet and climate change. All right. I would venture to say that, there, that, that, that the sun has the uh, predominant effect. There probably are other issues, I'm sure, in our atmosphere and the such. But I think that you would find that the behavior of the sun is going to be where the information will be found when it comes to whether or not we are warm or whether we are cold. It will depend on the sun. Okay. <laughs> Now, what that means is, is that the sun probably has cyclical behavior of some kind, where sometimes it's emitting more energy, and other times it's emitting less energy, all right? And these fluctuations of energy emissions will make a difference, okay? Now, we also have the rotation of our planet. That's also obviously a significant factor. But I would say that, you know, in general, we probably would find that it would be the behavior of the sun. All right. Now, so, so what this effectively means to me is that those who have this belief that climate change is something that we need to be concerned about, concerned about to the extent where we have to do something. All right. Um, and, and, and of course, we can do things. It's just, it's just that sometimes people will do things that are uh, not going to address the topic at all. But, but what this comes down to is it comes down to the idea of the behavior of the sun, which means that what we really end up having is a, is a religion of sun worship. Okay, this, this is how I see it, okay? I see the climate change zealots as being nothing more than the modern day sun worshipers. Okay, that's, that's how I see it.
You know, and, and this is the, 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 the sun worshipers have been found all throughout history. OK, they've been they've been all throughout history. There have been lots of variations of the sun worshipers. And, uh, and 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 we have you know, we have these people today who, in effect, uh, believe in the 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 sun worship religion, uh, but they just don't want to say it, you know, and and, and it's probably because inherently they really they know better but you know there's a lot of money that can be made right you know there's a lot of power that can be obtained if i just to give you an example if i was to say i'll tell you what you notice it is getting a little cold right don't worry give me money all right give me money and i will inspire the sun god to make it warmer you know and if you don't well, I might just go and talk with the sun god and maybe things will get a little colder. All right. This is what goes on. OK, this is what's been going on forever. Today, what is the modern day version of that? The modern day version is we need to take people's money by force. It's called taxes. All right. And, and it is a mechanism of force. We're going to force people to work for us as slaves. You know, you're going to go to work and whatever you get paid. No, you don't you don't keep that. You give it to me. You know, that's what these people believe. You give it to you give it to me. If you don't, well, the climate's going to, you know, change. <laughs> All right. And that's what people are effectively doing. OK, it's 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 a resurrection of the sun god religion. That's. That's what it is. All right. Now, um, that's my, you know, that's my general take on climate change. Now, now you'll find this in all kinds of different areas. But what you need to look for is what are people trying to take from someone else? All right. That's what you deal with when it comes to this climate change nonsense. What are people trying to take from someone else? For example, all right, here's a good one. There is this, uh, there is this belief that has been promoted by, I don't know who, but, but it's this belief that, is, that has appeared in recent times that if you have cows on your land, you know, well, you, you are a problem for the planet because your cows, all right, these animals that are yours, they, they pass gas. <laughs> they do. You know, on occasion, there is gas that gets emitted from your cows. You know, and there's this belief that the gas that is being emitted from your cows is, uh, is, is, is interfering with the sun's ability to you know maintain some proper balance within our planet because of your cows passing gas all right now for, for someone to believe this um, requires the refusal to acknowledge anything about science in you know in my opinion it just it requires that you know but please try to understand it, it really you, you can talk to these people for, for the rest of your life about, well, let's consider that. Let's consider how much gas is being emitted and how much atmospheric space do we have on the planet that could be, uh, that could be invaded by this gas that is being produced and how much of an effect is that really going to have on the planet? You know, I mean, you could do measurements like that. There are ways to do that. But they don't want to have a discussion with you about that. They will refuse to acknowledge anything that you waste your life computing. They'll just say, oh, well, good for you. I don't care because this is what it's really about. It's what, what it's really about. It's about having an alternate religion, you know, to be able to have something else to believe in and recruit a bunch of other people who will believe this kind of nonsense just because they, they want the conflict. They want the stimulation. They don't believe it. But they enjoy watching you get all upset about the fact that they are promoting a lie. And they know it. <laughs> all right. 
For them, this is fun. All right, this is what people do who don't have a job. All right, that, that, that's that, that's what these people do. They they have to find some sense of meaning and purpose in life. And and you know, a lot a lot of these people, not all, of course, some of some I'm sure have a job, but. But of those who I have encountered, the overwhelming majority of them do nothing to contribute to the lives of other besides cause pain. All right. So this is just normal for them. This is how they get money, I guess. You know, I mean, this, this is this is the world that we're a part of. All right. But this is what it really comes down to. It comes down to the fact that, well, you see, you have these cows. All right. And so because you have these cows, well, 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 you have to give us money, you know, you have to give us money uh, as, as compensation for the damage that you're causing to the planet for everybody else because of your cows. And so there are people who will forcibly take money from those who own land and those who have cows on this land and distribute it to all the people who voted for them. Mine is a small commission, of course, for themselves. <laughs> All right. And and that's what it's about. It's about theft. OK. And, and it's, it's about theft in the sense that you're going to be uh, taxed. And it's about theft in the sense that if you don't comply, well, you're going to lose your cows. They'll be taken from you or your land will be seized or whatever. It's a mechanism of theft. That's what it comes down to. Consider energy policies when people are concerned about certain kinds of fuel being used for energy and, they're cons and, and they say, oh, well, this, this fuel is going, to, uh, is, is going to cause maybe a global uh, warming cycle or a global cooling cycle, all right, which is going to probably happen anyway. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to be uh, affected by what kind of fuel people use. Uh, at all. It's not going to have anything to do with that whatsoever, but people will say that it does. Why? Because some people who are producing a certain kind of fuel, well, they won't be able, they won't be able to do well at that. And the other people will be able to do well who have these alternative kinds of approved energy sources. So by, by using force, you cause a distortion in commerce. And when you cause a distortion, if you know what the distortion is going to be, well, you can profit from that. There are a lot of ways you can you can profit at, you know, at the expense of someone else not being able to make use of the energy that they produce. You know, and other people can make more use of the energy that they produce. All right. And so through these mechanisms of force, mechanisms of force, people profit they profit and they proclaim these lies as the as the uh, uh, as the things that they that they use in order to somehow justify theft. OK, that's what climate change comes down to in the sense of what people are doing and what people are worried about. It's nothing more than a fictitious false. It's nothing more than one big lie that is used to take property and wealth from one person and give it to someone else minus a commission. That's the whole climate change thing. All right. Now, if you have a pretty good idea of what is going to happen in your climate, uh, in your area, in your time in history, if you have a pretty good idea, you can make adjustments, you can make changes, you know, uh, because that's just the behavior of the sun and of the rotation of the earth, you know? I mean, that's just part of life. And everybody just needs to be prepared to adjust for whatever cycle they are in, in whatever time period of history they're alive in. And it will change again, you know? Climate change climate changes all the time. It's always changed. Uh, but, uh, uh, but what people are trying to do is they're trying to say that, um, that it's something that can be controlled by, by humanity. And they're doing that so that they can use that as a means of theft. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any questions for me, send them to me at Aaron at AaronBudgen.net. Thanks.